O wondrous and unsurpassable felicity of man, to whom it is granted to have whatever he chooses, to be whatever he wills to be. Dumb creatures, as soon as they are born, bring with them, as Lucilius says, from their mother's womb all that they will ever possess. The highest spiritual beings, from the very beginning or soon thereafter, are what they forever will be, in eternity. But upon man, at the moment of his creation, God has bestowed seeds pregnant with all possibilities, the germs of every form of life. Whichever of these a man shall cultivate, the same will mature and bear fruit in him. If vegetative, he will become a plant. If sensual, he will become brutish. If rational, he will reveal himself a heavenly being. If intellectual, he will be an angel and the son of God. And if, not content with the lot of any other creature, he recollects himself into the center of his own unity, he will there become one spirit with God in the solitary mist of the Father who is set above all things and so transcend all creatures. Who would not admire this, our chameleon?